saw in the beginning of the video, we have acquired an EJ25. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a bit of a quick one. I'm more or less just kind of explaining what the plans are for this new motor that we got, what's happening with this old one, and why we're doing what we're doing real quick, just before we really dive into it. So obviously you guys already know that we have the EJ205 in my car right now. It's been running pretty good, pretty solid, it does pulls when I ask it to. It's hit and boost, it does all the good things, makes all the noises. Recently, I've been hearing a lot of extra noises, like dings and pops and bangs. And at first, my my instant reaction was it's probably rod knock or something of that sort. But if that were the case, then the amount of driving that I've been doing and how I've been driving would have definitely shown by now and it would have either A, blown up, so we got this 2.5 over here, which is something I feel like I should have done a long time ago and I really wanted to do for a little while, but I've been just kind of putting it off. This one here has 174,000 miles, which is pretty much around the same mileage that my car had when I first bought it in 2020. I was told that it ran good, uh, didn't have any issues whatsoever, um, just need to do timing. And we're just gonna redo gaskets, like head gaskets, valve covers, O-rings, etc. The goal with this engine build is not to make any more horsepower than what I'm already making. I'm not trying to build the most wild Subaru out here in the Northeast. All I'm doing is taking this 2.5 and all of the accessories and bolt-ons that I have on my car now, and I'm throwing them onto said 2.5 refreshing everything and obviously because it's a slightly bigger motor with a half a liter more displacement we're going to be picking up a little bit more torque and a little bit more horsepower on the way i did also pick up a killer b or moroso oil pickup tube and baffle so i think we'll be pretty good as far as like you know any oil issues i had no idea what i was going to do at first so cameron's dad ended up just giving me two sets of two five case halves like I, 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 I had no idea what I was going to do with them. I was probably just going to completely rebuild, like do manly rods and pistons and everything, but it would have been super expensive and I don't really have the time for that right now because I'm trying to get this thing running and smooth so that we can take a trip down to Pennsylvania. Jake has invited all of us, me, Cameron, and the rest of the boys to come down to PA and just kind of hang out, enjoy the you know time down there for 4th of July. So earlier today, me and Cameron dug through and we pretty much started disassembling everything. I didn't record any of this because you've seen it a million and one times and it's really not uh, that much to go through. You just kind of start taking everything off piece by piece, you know, uh, disassembling the engine harness, intake manifold, TGVs, which are over there. And I also was doing my rack and pinion and officially have new front knuckles and ball joints installed. I'm still not done with the rack and pinion. It's like hanging and I just have to disconnect the actual lines, but I've, I got like irritated, so I stopped. But this is our new power steering rack that we've got here along with tie rods. So we're gonna make sure we go get an alignment after that. I'm gonna be real. The only reason that I even was doing the power steering rack and ball joints and all that stuff in the first place, like now, was because this is my passenger side front tire, which is completely corded and lost all air in it. It didn't pop, it just lost all the air, which was really unusual. Luckily, I was only a few minutes away from home, so I just kind of babied it back home. And when I saw that, I was a little bit perplexed and was under the impression of obviously I have a bad alignment. Ball joints are done, front knuckles are done, front wheel bearings are done. In the process of doing rack and pinion, which shouldn't be too, too hard, honestly, once this fucking motor is out and I can get to those lines. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much what's been going on for the past couple weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed the Wicked Big video. I know you did, 17,000 views later. This is the play for right now. We're just gonna throw this 2.5 in. We're not gonna have the AVCS. Obviously, I'm gonna be using my uh, 2 cam gears. 2.5, going into my WRX, we're officially going to have a STI swapped WRX, I mean, as far as the motor goes. Everything over here, I'm gonna end up repainting. Uh, grabbed TGV deletes also, which is super dope. I do wanna redo these side skirts because they weren't put on the best, so we're gonna tackle that sooner or later. The other side, as you guys remember, flew off, so we have a whole new set of side skirts somewhere up there. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on and just let you in my head, let you in my world, see what's up. I hope you guys are all doing good and, uh, be on the lookout for a, another video, which will probably obviously be the motor build and then probably our trip to Pennsylvania just enjoying the 4th of July. So thank you all. I know it was short, but I wanted to just let you guys know what was up. Peace out, you guys. And I will be back when we have a 2.5 in the car.